So my new book, This Adventure Ends, is coming out in less than a month. And today I thought I would talk about a topic in the book that's not readily apparent from its description, and that topic is fandom. Now when I was a little kid, around the same age where I still pulled this face in pictures, and I still ate cookies as if I was a Muppet, I joined my first fandom, and that fandom was the Flower Fairies fandom. If you're not familiar, the Flower Fairies were from a series of illustrated poetry collections by a woman named Cicely Mary Barker. Each poem um, was about a particular plant or flower, and it had an illustration that went with it that depicted a fairy that represented that plant or flower. I became obsessed with the flower fairies. I had all the flower fairy books. I had flower fairy merch. For a five-year-old, I became remarkably well-versed in plant identification. Verbena, lilac, hawthorn, heliotrope. It was really my first experience of being just completely absorbed in a creative work. Um, but as I got older, I joined new fandoms. I was very into Harry Potter. I was very into Lord of the Rings to the extent where I produced an all-female reboot of Lord of the Rings with my friends in which I played Boromir. No! Frodo! In late high school and early college, I was really into a TV show called Stargate Atlantis. My favorite character um, was named Ronan Dex, and I loved him to the point where, as an adult, I attended a convention for the sole reason of meeting Jason Momoa, the actor who played Ronan Dex. But it wasn't until just a couple years ago that my fandom experiences sort of took on an online component. I discovered a show called Teen Wolf, and that sort of launched me into online fandom. And through that I discovered the joys of fan fiction and fan art and fan videos and GIFs and sharing headcanons and, and all of that. And, and since then I've really just taken so much joy in online fandom. Um, and because of that, I wanted to write about fandom in This Adventure Ends. So in this story, the protagonist Sloane and her father become very invested in the fandom for a TV show called Where School, which is about a supernatural high school. Um, and kind of one of my favorite passages is a discussion, kind of an early discussion between Sloane and her father about fandom. And I'm going to read you a little bit of it today. Sloane's father says, uh, are you familiar with fandom, Sloane? He makes it sound like a person, like fandom is someone you could meet at the grocery store. Kind of. I'm familiar with the concept of being a fan of something, at least. The way I understand it, and I'm no expert, so forgive me if my explanation is insufficient, I've only been in the Ware School fandom for approximately 16 hours, and eight of those hours were spent watching season one. Did you even sleep last night? Fandom, he continues, like I hadn't spoken, is something you can join, like a club or a team, but also something that you are. People make up a fandom, but the fandom is also the various arts that the people create in the name of the thing they are enthused about, and the consumption of those arts, and the feelings that they produce that feed back into their love of the original thing. God, it's dynamic, and it's wonderful. And that's all I've got for you today. If you want to leave me a comment, let me know what was your first fandom. Are you currently in any fandoms? What are they? I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, you can find me on Twitter, on Tumblr, on Instagram, or probably at any convention in which Jason Momoa is also in attendance. La 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 la.